Good day everyone! For today's video, we are going to talk about Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 as a tool for instruction. But before that, let us identify first the differences between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. The internet has progressed rapidly from the early days of Web 1, which included static texts and visuals to the current version which is the Web 2. We are presently entering the Web3 era in which value and data will easily move across decentralized platforms with distributed ownership and control. But, what else does Web3 feature? How is it different from Web2? Web2.0 and Web3.0 are similar technologies with similar backgrounds, but they approach challenges differently. The fundamental distinction is that Web 2.0 focuses on reading and writing content whereas Web 3.0 focuses on creating content, for example, semantic web. The latter is much better, utilizing technology to facilitate information, interchange among web users while simultaneously enhancing cybersecurity. While Web 2 aims to connect people, Web 3.0 combines this data in meaning along with increasing trust. This happens because of decentralization. Here are the Web 2.0 tools. The following are the purposes and learning activity for Web 2.0 tools. The first one is Facebook. The purpose of Facebook is that the user can connect online with friends, co-workers, and complete strangers by creating a free profile on the website Facebook. Users have the option of sharing as many individuals as they want with their own views and opinions as well as images, music, movies, and articles. So the sample of learning activity for Facebook is, you can post your reflection. Students may create the reflection of a particular lesson then use Facebook to post it to their timeline as a form of activity. Grammarly Grammarly enables knowledgeable communication across devices and platforms. Our suggestion helping to identify and replacing complex sentences with more efficient ones. Refreshing repetitive language and maintaining proper spelling, punctuation, and grammar. The sample learning activity for Grammarly is Constructing Essay. This tool is helpful for a student who has a difficulty in creating a grammatically correct sentences. It functions as grammar checker that suggests word store place detracted errors in the sentence. YouTube The purpose of YouTube is that the users can watch, like, share, comment on, and upload their own videos on the video sharing website YouTube. PCs, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones can all be used to access the video service. The sample of learning activity for YouTube is the Film Viewing. This tool can be used to present videos and film to the students. It is helpful to deliver a last lesson that is more understandable and enjoyable. Babolas A browser-based mind mapping tool that is great for project planning, brainstorming, and collaboration purposes. The sample learning activity is that the teacher may ask the student to create a graphic organizer for explaining the characters and their relationship and connection to each other in play or in a novel that being assigned to them. Edmodo Edmodo is an educational website that takes the ideas of social network and refines them and makes it appropriate for classroom. Using this website, students and the teacher can reach out. The sample learning activity for Edmodo is, through the use of Edmodo, it creates a virtual classroom where teacher can ask questions, share content, and discuss ideas. So now we have blogs. Blogs is the power to unleash learning, reflection, and communication. 
Vlogs can help spread your words and ideas to a wider audience and can help in learning for the students. The sample learning activity for blogs is that the teacher can ask the students to write their reflection in the form of blogs that can also inspire and help their classmates by sharing their thoughts and ideas. So we also have internet. It is an online tool that helps the students in searching information to gather some news, ideas, knowledge, information, and so on. The sample learning activity for internet is that the teacher may ask a question or a task that the student should search on the internet. And also Instagram. It is included in the Web 2.0 tools. It is to capture a moment in time and rely the memory in the future, to showcase their interests, lifestyles, values, or beliefs by what content they post or by which content they seek. So the learning activity for Instagram is you can follow your teacher of English language and a vocabulary, follow your favorite English speaking story, enjoy educational content, take the caption challenge, and read short poetry. As well as Twitter, Twitter can be used as research tool by searching relevant hashtags, search people, topics, and what are keywords to gather more information about a specific topic they are researching and learning in schools. The sample learning activity for Twitter as you can do a thread explaining what are the importance of public speaking and use hashtags. Create a mini blog regarding the English language. We also have Aminoto. It allows students to produce or develop digital videos that include music, photos, video clips, and text as well as their creation electronically and it can be used to present research information to the class. The learning activity for Aminoto is let the students assemble their digital images into an Animoto video to display what they found. So now we have Canva, an online design tool that offers users the opportunity to create professional looking posters, slideshows, images, infographics, and other media. The sample learning activity for Canva is using presentation templates for language class, talking presentation about rules of grammar, and present to class. We also have quizzes, platform that offers multiple tools to make a classroom fun, interactive, and engaging. You can create lessons, conduct formative assessments, assign homework, and have other interactions with student in a captivating way. The sample learning activity for quizzes is live quiz about synonym and antonym with 30 seconds to answer each item. The next one is Skype. This online tool helps both teacher and students to share their experience and information as well as connect to each other to talk about specific lessons virtually. The sample of learning activity for Skype is the recitation and interview. The last but not the least is Google Form. Educators can use this to assess their students at the beginning of the class. You get instant results as they come in. The sample learning activity for Google Form is survey, exam, quiz, and interview. The Web 3.0 tools and its purposes. The number one on our list is Spotify. Spotify is founded by Daniel E.K. and Martin Lawrenson. It actually started as a small startup in Sweden and the goal is to unlock the potential of human creativity by allowing a million creative artists to live off their art and billions of fans to enjoy and be inspired by it. The next one is Wolfram or Wolfram Alpha, but the earlier product is Wolfram Mathematica, founded by Stephen Wolfram. The purpose is to make all systematic knowledge instantly computable and accessible to all. The mission is to collect and curate all objective data to implement every known model, method, 
an algorithm and to make it possible to compute anything about anything. Estimit Estimit is founded by Ned Scott, a learning tool that allows us to immerse ourselves in a variety of topics that have a lot of didactic and dynamic potential to be put into practice in the classroom. Intelligent Tutoring Systems a personal trainer's aid that keeps records the subject topic, instructional skills, and adapts the application to each user's needs and learner's needs. YouTube YouTube is founded by Jod Grimm. The first YouTube video titled Me at the Zoo was uploaded on April 23, 2005. YouTube can be a helpful and enjoyable tool to advance your language learning. Students find YouTube videos engaging because of their audio-visual features which allow them to learn in situations and contexts that they can relate to. Google, the top search engine in the world, and the purpose for teachers is they have now the freedom to devote more time to individualize instruction and less time in managing it thanks to Google for education. Augmented reality applications, I teachers can enhance theoretical concepts with interactive gaming experiences and virtual examples using augmented information effectively. It has many potential applications in education, medicine, and engineering. Voice search. The user only speak to the smartphones then the application will find for you. It can capture speech much faster than you can type. Allows the user to use a voice command to search in the internet, a website, or an app. The next one is eChat. is a 3.0 app that is powered by a decentralized blockchain. It is a secure messenger known as the fastest growing social network. Users get the benefit of sharing any data without fear of theft. And we have Siri. Siri is a voice recognition software as a key component of 3.0. Using this technology, Siri and other personal assistants communicate share infos and provide users with more helpful search results for every meaningful query. And Bubble Us is a browser-based mind mapping tool that is great for project planning, collaboration, and brainstorming purposes. It lets you create simple flowcharts and webs to diagram ideas and writing assignments. And we have microblogging or microblog to weigh on trending topics and sharing content includes user generated content event highlights new updates memes and quotes one of the best microblogging sites in the world is tumblr and we have artificial intelligence is to help human capabilities and competence and help them make advanced decisions with far-teaching consequences. And our last on the list is Google Scholar. A quick and easy tool to conduct a thorough search for academic literature. Search across a variety of subjects and sources from websites, thesis, one location, including academic publishers and books. And what is the difference between Google and Google Scholar. While Google searches the entire web, Google Scholar limits to its searches to only academic journal articles. Web 2.0 has the potential to create more interactive and powerful learning environments in which learners become knowledge creators, producers, editors, and evaluators. Thus, Web 2.0 technologies has the ability to support active and social learning, provide opportunities and venues for student publication, 
provide opportunities to provide effective and efficient feedback to learners and provide opportunities to scaffold learning. Web 3.0 technology strives to revolutionize the way we teach and learn. It promises to aid the teaching and learning process by unleashing the potential of technology. With tools like artificial intelligence, Web3 will streamline access to the pool of knowledge for every person from anywhere in the world. The technology will help teachers to create engaging assignments involving innovative resources. Web3 has been revolutionizing the way we think about education. Through the promise of Web3, more learners will be able to access and afford quality education to help them grow, learn, and change in this world that is constantly doing the same. And this concludes the focus of our discussion for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye!